Jurors in the Waukesha Parade trial are just hours away from getting the case. Suspect Daryl Brooks is representing himself and accused of killing six and injuring more than 60 others last November. Brooks is facing life in prison if convicted. 12 News' Hillary Mintz is joining us live at the courthouse this morning. And Hillary Brooks was not in the main courtroom during the jury instructions throughout the morning. No, that's because the judge removed Brooks from the courtroom twice in just about an hour for his conduct, behavior and speaking while jurors were walking into the courtroom. I am not going to do this with you this morning. You either I'm abide by these rules am I and stay in quiet am or I you am will be in, in the dishonor? other courtroom. Am I acting in dishonor? Yes, you are acting How? in dishonor. How? You are disobeying the direct order of this court to respect the decorum and the dignity of these proceedings you are merely attempting to delay i don't care what you think that's not accurate mr brooks i am having this jury out and, and if you and say you're making one word when that door opens you're making a tacit agreement then you will forfeit your right to be present so you're acting in dishonor so today the judge will read 107 pages of jury instructions, most of them this morning. Brooks is charged with 76 counts, including six counts of first degree intentional homicide for the six people killed in the parade. This afternoon, both sides, prosecutors and Brooks, will get one hour each to give closing arguments. Now, yesterday, Monday, the district attorney asked the judge if there's a guilty verdict, could sentencing take place this week? Well, this morning, Brooks asked the judge not to rush that process. Obviously, on my side, um, if it pleases the court, if there is a conviction in this matter, I would like the uh, the sentencing to to not be so quick. I'm, I'm asking if it pleases the court for the sentencing to be held off into a later time, not a day or two or a week, just so that affairs can be put in order properly and so that the people that want to come in and, and speak will have the opportunity to address the court. I certainly don't want to rush anything and I think that's a fair request that you're making. So still, Hillary, a lot of back and forth this morning, a lot of tense moments still during this fourth week of this trial. When could the jury get the case? Well, Diada, timing is going to be everything today, depending on when the closings happen, when the judge reads those jury's instructions, when she finishes them. So this could be later this evening. So, uh, you know, if they start deliberating but seem that they're not going to finish, they will be sequestered. They'll spend the night at a hotel. They were told to bring overnight bags for tonight, and then they would come back Wednesday morning to finish. All right, Hillary, you said it. Timing is everything in this case. Hillary Mintz reporting live outside of the Waukesha County Courthouse.